Hi guys, welcome to Linksa YouTube channel. My name is Ramishra and I am your online instructor. So what's in this video? In this video, I will tell you how to create AWS IAM policy using Terraform. So guys, let's begin the topic. But before start the lab session, we have to understand few points, which is what is IAM and their use cases. So basically in AWS, IAM services is used to control access to the services and resources of AWS. It needs a very in-depth knowledge of to configure IAM policy to assure minimum privilege to AWS system and resources built for the purpose of infrastructure as a code solution. So Terraform support multiple cloud service provider. It is an open source tool developed by the HashiCorp using IAC. We can manage the infrastructure setup with configuration file. For example, we can deploy, update and manage our infrastructure by defining the required resources using Terraform. So in this demonstration, we will see how we can create an AWS user and attach a policy to it using Terraform. So let's begin the lab session. Guys, this is my Linux terminal and currently I'm using RHEL 9. Let me show you the OS release version of this machine. See, you can check that currently I'm using RHEL 9.0. So let me create a new folder for this Terraform project. So MKDIR demo project. Okay. Now I'm going to open my Visual Studio Code software for configuring and deploying Terraform configuration file. So let me go with the Visual Studio Code. Okay, here it is my Visual Studio Code software. Okay, let it be set the size for you. Okay, so let me open the folder first. Uh, it is in demo project here it is select that one go to the open okay let me close this one yeah here it is so this is my demo project so uh, that's this is my virtual uh, visual studio code and and uh, you can see that currently there is no provider file available on this location so start with the first step which is create the provider file so before we start working on the terraform let's create the provider file first for aws cloud provider in my case i'm going to launch my resources in north california region you can go with anyone so i create a file and put up the entries so right click make a file provider.tf name could be anything extension should be always .tf and uh, let's start the entry with provider provider in my case my provider is aws and reason reason is uh, this is us hyphen west hyphen one this is north california and okay remove that extra line okay so that's sufficient for this now uh, time to save and quit from here so i am using control s save and quit from there now i'm going to run the terraform init command so open a terminal more terminal and run the terraform init from here so terraform init let me make a large screen for you okay so uh, this command will initialize the current working directory containing terraform configuration file and install any required plugins when you run the terraform init command any plugins required such as the aws cloud provider are automatically downloaded and saved locally into a dot terraform directory okay so it will take some time and see it's going to be initialized uh, finding the latest version of hashicorp aws okay yeah terraform has successfully initialized okay so now you can see that under my project directory i have a file uh, one more hidden directory called dot terraform directory where required plugins are stored okay so now move to next step which is create a resource file so let me close this terminal and uh, again i am back on my demo project directory so i am going to create another uh, resource file which is uh, under the same project directory name could be anything uh, but extension should be always .tf file so I'm going to start uh, with the new file main.tf okay so let's start with main.tf file here I have to put, put up my resources entry so I'm going to create first resource uh, which is uh, which is I am user so for time saving purpose I have write down the all code in my notepad file let me copy from there and paste it here and then I will explain all the terms what are I'm using in that particular code okay so here it is my code file where I have mentioned my code so let me copy the entry 
and right click and can paste it simply okay now control s so uh, let me explain this is the my code and the entire code is available from terraform registry.io official website you can get over there from the entire code so let me explain the entries so i start with the resource entry where i have to define my resources uh, whatever i, I want to going to be create on my aws platform so this is aws underscore im underscore user here it could be anything but uh, it, uh, it, it could be anything for uh, as required your resources so currently I'm using my IAM user. So I go with the AWS underscore IAM underscore user for IAM user. Then I use the logical name, which is uh, demo underscore user. Could be anything, but should be unique in our Terraform environment file. Then I use a username, which is Linux. Then I start put up the another resource, which is AWS underscore IAM underscore access underscore key. It provide an IAM access key. Uh, this is a set of credentials that allow API request to made an IAM user. Then I mentioned the user entry, uh, which is required for IAM user to associate with the access key. So this is AWS underscore IAM user dot demo user dot name, the username entry that that is the attribute. And here the key is uh, identical logical name. Then I uh, use output block here. Look at that output secret key and output access key. So output block for view my output from Terraform apply or plan command. So uh, under my secret key output block, I use a function which is sensitive is equal to true. Look at that here. So which means I want to ensure that accidentally I didn't want to expose the data in CLI output or log output or source control. So it is useful in a situation when the Terraform logs would be in public space or uh, or when you want to them the remain hidden but not delete from the from the code so you will also want to uh, censor outputs that contains password or api tokens as they are sensitive information as well so at that time we can use this function so uh, here i use value value is aws underscore im underscore access dot key dot key and the secret key and the id okay so it will show me the id it will show me the name also it will show me the secret key so i'm going to uh, save and quit from here okay control s now move to the next step which is creating a policy and attaching it to the im user using terraform so let me uh, go back again on the terraform uh, on the terraform project directory and uh, i'm going to create one more dot tf file for the policy creation and attachment so right click one more time create a new file so this time i give the name policy dot tf name could be anything extension should be always dot tf file do not forget this one uh, even you have the option you can append the code on the same main.tf file or make it different choice up to you i created a separate one so now i have the code uh, for this policy file also let me copy from here my uh, notepad file okay so just paste that one so i start uh, here with new resource uh, which is I AWS IAM user policy with uniquely identical name, which is IAM. It could be anything. Uh, this resource provide an IAM policy uh, attached to this particular user. Then I mention the user. Uh, user is AWS underscore IAM user dot demo dot uh, underscore user dot name, uh, which is required for this one. And uh, then I define the policy name that is a demo policy. Uh, this is the inline policy for this user then i define the policy which is required which is very very important for us and this is the json format a string and use the end of file frame so here i put up the code for allow to list s3 bucket from this user account and uh, let me save and quit from here uh, control s now before moving to the next let's verify and validate the configuration entry using the terraform validate command so let me open the terminal for one more time Okay. Now go to the data form. <coughs> Validate. Sorry. <coughs> yeah, all good. Success. The configuration is valid. Now just review the execution plan first before deploying on AWS Cloud Provider. So for this, I'm going. Uh, I'm going with Terraform plan command. So let me go with the Terraform plan first. Okay, see, uh, it says if you go with this plan, it will add three new resources and access key and secret key known after the apply and look at the secret key, it is sensitive value. Okay, so if I scroll up, 
let me check the three uh, resources this is the uh, policy.iam and the another one is demo the hyphen user or access underscore key dot key okay so uh, after you review the execution plan apply your changes so for this i use the terraform apply command so terraform apply Okay, now enter the value, say yes. So let me move to the web console. And if I go to the my IAM bucket or IAM uh, user and S3 bucket, let me check with the IAM first of all. So currently you can see that this is my web console and currently I am using a North California. And here I am, if I go to the users, see I have a few users are there so let me refresh the entry control R okay now move to the terminal see apply completed resource 3 are successfully added and look at that access key is there and secret key is in the sensitive format okay so uh, let me verify from the AWS console uh, go to the IAM let me refresh scroll down or I can search it from here also Linux see it's Linux's user is successfully created via Terraform and if I open that particular user you can find out the demo policy whatever the policy I have mentioned through my terraform.tf configuration file here it is already attached and it is inline policy okay and if I move to the my S3 bucket let's see click to the S3 bucket see here are a uh, few buckets are available already available in my uh, this AWS account so it's good for me now uh, I can back on my console and I can check it using terraform state command also terraform state list see all resources are entries are there so time to check uh, uh, we have to check how to configure uh, uh, where the uh, whether the user is able to list uh, uh, S3 bucket or not from AWS CLI because user is successfully created using the Terraform. So if I go back again on the AIWS management console, you can see that user is successfully created. And if I go to the security credentials, see uh, console password is disabled and uh, permission under permission, I have my inline policy. And if I open this one demo policy, see uh, it's all a JSON format here whatever I have mentioned in my Terraform configuration file so if I scroll down look at that so things are clearly mentioned here okay S3 it's in listed format so uh, how to check that one uh, these uh, these in the, the user is able to view the access or uh, S3 bucket or not so for this I have to configure the AWS CLI okay so let me open my run prompt and go to the DOS command prompt so I open my DOS prompt and say command prompt CLS and AWS configure. Okay, so once I press enter, let's see what happened. Okay, uh, here I need two things access key and the secret key. So these entries are available in my state file. Okay, so let me go on my Terraform one more time, remove this terminal or close this terminal, go to the terraform.tf state file and see here's the access key and here's the secret key. So I can just copy and paste it here from here. So right click the copy, move to the prompt, right click paste, let me copy one more time, copy, paste, access key, secret key this time, right click copy, right click paste, or reason name, a US West hyphen one, uh, this is currently I am using North California, so let me check the reason, yeah US West hyphen one is there. Okay, so I go with the default one and default output format is table. So go with the table, no show. Okay, now I have successfully configured my uh, Linux user in AWS CLI prompt. Let me check uh, whether I'm able to view the S3 bucket or not. So I have the command AWS S3 underscore LS. Wow, great. You can see that 
uh, I can list all my S3 bucket from this user account. If I remove that policy from my Linux user, I will not be able to see the uh, S3 bucket list. Let me check for you. So if I go to the my IAM console and uh, let me remove from here. So let's see what will the effect happen. Okay, so currently I don't have enough permission. Okay, let me clear the screen. Go with that one more time. See, uh, it's access denied. So it's working perfectly. If you want to destroy your resources, you can go with the data from destroy command and destroy all the resources, whatever you have created earlier. So for destroying, open the terminal one more time and we can simply run terraform destroy hyphen hyphen auto approve so this command will, it will uh, destroy all the remote objects managed by the particular terraform configuration yeah it started okay so it's going to be destroyed two resources because one uh, one the IAM policy I have already manually destroyed from the AWS console. So delete completed resources are successfully destroyed and even I can cross check from the Terraform state list command. Yeah, it's clear. So guys, uh, this is all about this demonstration. Finally, this is the end of this topic. Hopefully you enjoyed and learned new things. Soon I will come up with another new interesting topic. Till then keep practicing. If you feel something I have missed or you wanted to know more something else, please leave your comment and subscribe my YouTube channel for uh, more updates. If you like this video, please do not forget to like, share and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon button for the latest update. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and goodbye.